Hello, and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Ivan. In the last episode, we set up the mall, the place we go to get everything we need to build a factory. And we started setting up the um, yellow belts, yellow undergroundies, and yellow splitters. I think today we're going to finish these, and then we were going to do steel, I believe. Uh, because steel is needed for steel furnaces, and... We can afford two, let's make two. Um, and steel is needed for most advanced stuff. So let's get more steel with the steel furnaces. That's nice. And also we don't have enough iron going in this way. So I think I'm going to help it out with uh, a red splitter. And uh, we need some red belts as well to do that. Oh, let's not make too many. I don't want to handcraft gears like that. We just need uh, the red ones to go to the place where it's drained like it is. Good. Yeah, that should help it fill the things. Um, we have three labs. We have 100 lamps. That's nice. We have an unlimited chest of turrets nicely spotted me that's lucky and also we have um, a whole bunch of assembling machines but those assembling machines they need uh, steel so let's hmm. let's be very silly and place a red inserter here that puts it uh, on the side, so it puts it on the right side, and that's the right side or correct side, so we can get more blue uh, assembling machines. That's nice, we can help out the science with that. Let's do research speed because we have enough technology to do what we're supposed to do. So, increasing our uh, science output a bit on the way down let's see now uh, we probably need to increase this one and this one as well oh and these there we go now we don't need this buffer anymore and we can probably upgrade that one sure okay now let's blow up or our iron supply because this is going to do just that that's fun so this one we can limit a bit a bit more this one as well it's down to one stack this one is down to one stack we have quite quite a few of these so the system might not be as blown up as we think there we go also need to get some steel we don't have any steel to obtain we oh we have almost a stack oh that's the wrong one ah it's fine we need a couple of those anyway so plop plop and plop oh and we have red belts being made now four stacks at the beginning sure i think uh i think we're going to transfer really fast into uh, into the red belts. I think that's going to be uh, quite easy as long as we let it uh, build and build and build from the very beginning like now. And I think that's it. This is good. This is good. This is good. And they are now limited. And we're going to watch our iron supply just run dry. We need to upgrade these as well. Let's see. I like this part. I like um, building and watching the um, supplies run out because that's the cue to make more. Now we can see that our iron supply down here isn't <laughs> as it is supposed to be. So that's a reason to make more iron but that should be quite easy as well 
because we have or oh, we have uh, over a hundred of these now that's really nice so um, research speed is done what I was hoping for was to get to the um, inserters that insert more than one that's capacity I believe yes but we want the non-stack inserter capacity that's here oh no it's number two so it's done with just the red and green ones that's not too bad we just need to get through oil and stack inserter and one of the capacities let's do that and there we go I also think we could um, add more labs. No, nah, it's fine. We don't have enough um, materials as it is. And now we can see we we don't have materials at all. There we go. And you as well. Do we have the upgrade planner already? Mm, doesn't look like it. Maybe we do. Upgrade planner, yes. Alt U. Oh, it's the green one. Okay. We do. So if we make an upgrade planner for from yellow to blue inserters, I think we can use that to find yellow inserters. Yes. Which we just did though. One more. Good. Probably need to do that here as well. Up, 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 and also need to upgrade these um, let's see probably need to upgrade these assembly machines as well there we go do we have enough no so engine is complete uh, next one was fluid handling so let's just do that and it looks like this belt is almost full. So the way to upgrade this, I guess, is by getting more steel furnaces and red belts on the thing or build another smelting column. We can probably do both. 297, so we have 303. That's decent, actually. Probably shouldn't do that. Probably shouldn't use the last of the steel just yet. So if we set up steel smelting now, we definitely need to set up more iron mining as well. Let's just keep doing the oil here. The oil is changed. So when we get to that, that's going to be interesting and fun. We can also do railway now. And I think we're going to need it because of the options and it looks like we don't have oil anywhere close as well. Oh, this is going to be fun. Hopefully a bit awkward and difficult because that's what the map options were planned to be. Uh, at least in the very beginning when we need to, uh, when we need to stop biters and all of the things to get where we want to, to find new supplies. Let's see, we have two steam engines here Let's just place them while we're uh, down here. And we need one from the boiler. I'm not sure why we had two extra of those, but now we don't. Good, good, and good. And we definitely have enough uh, coal freight for now. And um, a red belt is 60 miner. 60 miners, I believe, because they create one iron every two second let's see there's one mississippi two mississippi there we go so it's um it's 30 for a yellow belt and 60 for a red one so let's start setting that up how many do we have here we have 17 so we need a bunch basically so um let's sync them up with the with the um, power poles. This one is a bit awkward and the next one is a bit awkward. But that's fine because when they run out, they stop and we can move them. 
there we go and one between and here we go as well and moving off the purple oh that one had power that's a bit funny so we also need to set up the lights i'm going to keep forgetting those i believe but i will try my best so that's here and i think this belt is going to go this way so uh, this one is probably not needed and there so this needs to be powered like so what what the heck was that the double place there i have no idea I'm going to leave it up though. So uh, this is the part where we actually need the red belt for this to have any effect. So 17, I'll ask to all of them. 63, that's perfect. That's three too many, but some of these are going to run out. So might as well just keep it like that. And uh, let's see. Electricity can go through here actually. There and there. Why aren't we getting power? Let's connect it. Okay, so we need red belts for this. We also need to sort out the next science. And we need to, to obtain the belts. Now, we also need to build the smelter for steel. And what I remember is that the steel smelter is a bit awkward to build without having the steel electric poles or the medium electric poles. So I'm going to build those right now. Ah, oh, this is taking all of our iron or 75% at least because split and split. But it gives us red belts. That's nice. We have quite a lot already. Okay, so let's expand our toolbars. I think that's in the settings still. Interface, maybe. Mm. Active quick bars. We want four of those. Yes. That was this one then. The number of shortcut bar rows always visible on the screen. Was oh, these. Okay. We don't need four of those. Two is enough. Looks better that way. Good. And this means we can add, let's see, if we do, if we go like this, so yellow, uh, yellow and yellow, and then the red ones. Let's get these, these, and I might as well get all of them. And then we add those to the bar instead. So red, red, and red. Now this this is nice. I'm impressed with the uh, advancement so far. Now, if we go red all the way to this place, that should be enough for now because that place is going to be the place where we're down to uh, half of the belt anyway. So the rest can be yellow without any issues. We are of course going to upgrade it and add uh, several belts to it, but we need to start somewhere. And uh, and this is a good place to start. So we get all the belts we need in the beginning and the mall can get all of the things it needs in the beginning as well. The mall, the science and one more thing, uh, mall science and Let's quickly check mall science, I guess, and belts. Yeah, mall science belts. So we don't need uh, blue inserters for this. And because we already built this with the uh, copper poles or the uh, basic power poles, that's fine as well. We don't need to upgrade the coal. We need to upgrade this side though and that's so don't need this side either 
there. 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 Oh, I don't want to run. Okay. So, uh, now on the red belt, we have 15. That means this isn't going to be optimal. Because it, it doesn't matter if the first 30 only has a yellow belt. As long as the last 30 has a red belt. Because uh, the first ones are going to fill the yellow belt. And then um, they need to speed up to get, give room for the next 30. I hope that made sense. It made sense in my mind. Well, it, it, it is like that. But I'm not sure if I'm <laughs> explaining it correctly. Or explaining it well, I should say. So we need more belts and to get more belts we need more iron and to get more iron we need more belts. So we are in one of those infinite loops of pain. Um, we also need more steel which needs iron. So that's where we are at right now. I'm going to remove this because we have enough machines. Oh we have we have way more than we need. This is brilliant. And by way more than we need, I mean for for now, because we're definitely going to make more than than the um, 50 assemblers. Oh, we also have 75 of the slow ones. So I should have inserted those up there, but it's fine. So I'm going to, um, uh, first of all, I'm going to do belt here actually we, we can we can do a combination belt here go like this that's going to save us some belt good 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 so um we have 17 and that means we need 30 that's here so we need to make sure that we get red belts for all of this at least and now we do so we can start adding up uh, the rest and if we don't have enough belt we can use yellow ones now this um, might mess up the sides of the belts because we might not have enough inserters on each side this is the right side and these are the right side uh, and these are going to be as well. So, um, hopefully, hopefully, uh, yeah, hopefully I'm going to change that. That's, that's the spirit. So 63 and let's do a quick count on the right side. We have nine. Um, 12 on the right side these 12 and 12 is 28 sorry 12 and 12 is 24 so we need 6 more I'm going to remove 9 of these 2, 3 and 4 and then we do 6 that doesn't work. Mm. Mm. We can do this one. There we go. And yellow belt. And there we go. Now overkill is fine. Too few is not. We want uh, we want as many as we need. There we go, and some lamps, because it is getting dark. I think every other power pole was the thing. I don't remember, we, uh, I did make a blueprint for this in the last playthrough, and when we get to um, a place where we can use bots, um, there is going to be blueprints made as well for this. So, right now, uh, right now, we um, have the belts being made. Uh, sorry, we have the ore being mined and the belts being made, of course, yes, but we don't have the furnaces. So 
we don't have the steel. Let's look at it. Any iron reaching the steel? Yes, some of it. So let's go. Uh, let's see. Let's go get some of the steel and let's use a couple of the uh, steel furnaces down here to make more steel. Definitely need to set up an array for that. So here and here and here. Good. That's going to make some. Let's run up the red belt. That's a bit faster. And let's see, 145. This is so nice. Even though it seems like we are lacking stuff, we are actually doing great. This has been quite, quite, quite fast. So let's make these on the way down. All of these are going to double up on, uh, double our uh, iron production. So that's nice. Now we need some coal. That's, uh, let's see, two stacks. There and there. And uh, here. Okay. So do we want to make the steel array next to it? It's a bit wider. It's twice as wide. It's not going to be a good fit here. So I think we're going to make it next to it. We can, we can always just... Um, Always just spaghetti. So this, I guess we need, um, we need, we need red belts for this, do we? Do we though? How many of the, how, how much steel do we need at the very beginning? Maybe, maybe the point here is to make, um, just enough to make the, the, um, Oh, what's it called? The furnaces. Maybe just enough to make the furnaces and then... And then we increase iron instead. I'm not sure what we need first. But we'll find out as we move along. As we go. And there, there, there. This is one of my magical temporary setups, as everyone can see. It's very magical. So we have uh, enough iron mining right now. We have enough copper, definitely. And we have some production of the furnaces. We um, think we should stop this actually. Ah, it's fine. We can go up there to uh, to plunder some later. Now we need uh, we need the uh, steel, so we're going to we're just going to make it with the normal furnaces for now, so we get steel production going, and then it's going to be increased later. So let's do that. Now this is going to be um, nice to have the steel power poles for and that's because we're going to have two rows of the furnaces because the outer row is going to smelt into iron and the inner row here is going to smelt into steel and this is going to need two bolts in the very middle and and that's the reason for, I think, let's, I don't remember. There, there is a reason, definitely a reason for it to be really nice with, um, with the, <laughs> the steel. Let's make a few. I want to find out why this is. I don't want to say stuff that's not, that's not, well, it is true, but uh, I want to know why it's true. So one one belt in, one belt out, because we need coal for the inner ones as well. And there we go. 
I'm not going to finish this side, just going to finish the uh, left side to, to get some production going. So on this side, we need in. I'm going to. Ah, uh, yes. And this is why we want the steel, because we're going to fill this place. This one needs this one. Uh, this, this one needs two inserters on this side, which means we don't have room for power poles. And with this one, it doesn't reach, but with this one, it does. Magic. The magic of, I don't know, the magic of power. So, um, the magic of electricity. Electricity is almost magic. I think in the olden days, Tesla wanted to uh, make wireless electricity and some people say he actually did and people have done projects with it right now as in it's being studied right now and it's not the results aren't amazing but they can actually transfer electricity i think a few centimeters through the air and i don't mean lightning bolts or tesla coils it's something else i believe don't know don't know Let's see. So enough talking out my wazoo. Here we go. Now we need to, let's see, connect this, connect this. This thing is temporary connected because it's going to be not that way, not that way. And of course not red. There we go. And not red as well. There we go. So, um, Iron goes here and here. So we need undergroundies. I set up the hot buttons for for reds and that's a bit awkward right now. Oh, and mining productivity. When we get the mining productivity going, we aren't going to need as many miners. So we're actually quite close already to the capacity bonus. That's very nice. I think our science is running low because iron is running low and we are actually increasing that as we speak. I'm just going to quickly move up here and increase the iron a tiny bit. Good, 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 good. Times nine. So, um, so there and maybe, maybe move it one. I like it there actually. And there, no, there. And so, and then we need here, this is for iron. And I was about to split it off, but I'm not going to because people are going to hate that, I believe. So why is the belt full? Ah, oh, because it's not moving properly. Okay, so iron in there, that's good. I'm going to draw this up just so we know where it goes. And then, let's see, coal is fine right now. soon. Coal is fine right now. <laughs> fixed. I think it's fixed at least. Yes. So this is out and on this side we need to have the reds out. But don't don't need to sort that yet. Uh, just marking it like that so we see how it how it works. Okay so uh, we need electricity for all of this shebang there we go the um, again the steel power poles oh yes so this is good we we need um, let's see do we need all of these I think we do yeah that's 60 so we're going to cut that one there and then we're going to do four and four this is the start 
of the um, steel smelting. So I'm going to drag that up there. It goes here. Yeah, that's fine. And then we just underground it. Let's see. Let's make a squiggle and a bloop. And that goes there, this goes here, this has power, this has power. And we have steel being made. Now we only have um, four miners. So we could we could temporarily split off from the um, iron, but I don't think that's the best idea. I think... Um, because we're setting up the iron properly. It's better to... Oh, and we have so much steel up here. Nice, and this thing is going straight in here because we're only going to use the proper assembly machines. And... Oh, we have so many miners as well. I'm going to grab all of them and set up. So we also need a smelting array for the um, stone, or not a smelting array, but a brick making array, probably. We have many though. Yeah, maybe we just, maybe we just belt in from this one steel furnace. It's not going to be enough for long, but it's going to be enough uh, for now, I believe. Let's see, nine. Oh, I'm so used to playing, um, satisfactory and you can't do this in satisfactory use one storage box for uh, one machine that requires two different products without um, splitters that sort but because we use inserters here and not belts directly into machines it's fine like that that's nice that's that's a convenience so I can just put all of these in the box. I don't need to put one and one stack in or make a separate box for it. That made me a tiny bit happy. And there we go. And here we go. Stone. Sure. Um, let's see. We have, uh, we have steel. Uh, we should also obtain the red belts, but we don't have to right now. Let's see. Um, I just downgraded that for power pole. Medium. Top. Okay. And Good. How many? That's 20. That's a third, a third of a fifth of a belt because one smelting array with a full belt in only gives 20% uh, of a belt out. So uh, that was, let's count again, that was 20. So let's set up one more row. Let's start there. 11, 12, 13. Here as well. Not 13, 12. So 12 and 13 is 25, and we need 40. So that's going to be basically this whole field. Which, oh, that's fun because we're going to need to find more iron pretty soon, and we can't find any. Oh, that's rough. That's fun. So um, let's do the belt, let's see, let's snake it up. Probably don't have enough of the yellow belts either right now. Good. Eh, that's not a good idea. This is a good idea and it's a tiny bit more squiggly. So that's fun. 
Oh, we had enough belts. Good and good. That should help a tiny bit and we only need 30 of them because we only have one side working right now anyway. So this is, this is great. Nom nom nom, all of the steel in the world and all of the steel furnaces in the world. So let's keep one stack, let's get rid of the iron ore and then let's see what's going on soon at the capacity thing. Ah, oh, and the belt stopped. That's why we have stuff. So let's remove this. We have proper steel being made now. And remove this. So that's, ah, oh, that's brilliant. So now we have um, iron going everywhere. We have uh, science being made. Do we have, why isn't this working? Do we not have enough production of the yellows? We should. This is 12, right? Yeah. And they take six seconds each. Yes. Now that's the, okay. We don't have enough wheels. But the instant we get the capacity bonus, we're going to have enough wheels. So I'm just going to leave it up there because the science is going to fix it for us. As science usually does, it fixes everything. So I'm looking at the time and this is a fitting place to stop. I'm also, before we uh, before we stop, I'm going to click one button to blow up the system and there we go. Bye bye iron. This is nice though. All of them are actually on. So. Uh, instead of swooning uh, over my own work here, I'm going to take a break and and ponder what's going to happen in the next episode. Now, this is going to be an upgrade project that's going to run for a long time. And, and it looks like we need more coal. That's... Uh, well, we have it filled up right now, but definitely need more soon. So I'm going to sort that as well. We don't have uh, any reminder bots like we do in Autonauts, but we have we have uh, other ways to remind ourselves. So uh, coal for iron. So um, let's see. Let's make an arrow pointing to coal and another arrow pointing to iron. So we need coal for iron smelting. Iron smelting. Good. We are now reminded and we can stop for it today. So we did good stuff. We have, uh, we have uh, so much more production going on and we have uh, upgraded to reds already. I think it might have been a bit soon because we don't have enough iron for it, but oh well. We have them built now and and it's going to increase our productivity a lot and it's going to increase this one, basically double it up without having to build a new array. So that's fun. Anyway, thank, thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed the spaghetti. Bye bye.